Hi everyone, in this video tutorial we're just going to give a general outline of how to create your own template for the Google Sites Builder software. Just a couple of things to note is that you don't need to create a template if you don't want to or if you don't have HTML skills or aren't familiar with HTML then it's probably best just to leave the template field blank and the software will use the default template but if you are familiar with HTML and you're comfortable doing some basic HTML then you can most certainly design uh, a template to lay the content out on the Google site that the software creates uh, differently than the uh, default template. So I'll just step through until we get to this first field. Uh, first I'll just go over the tokens that you can put inside your layout. Uh, so first we have the image token and it must be inside image source HTML code to, and that's that will display your image. Next we have article 1 and article 2 tokens. Now these tokens will show Okay, the Article 1 and Article 2 tokens, they will show this content here in the article section. So what it will do is it will split this content into two parts. If you have, say, four paragraphs, it will split it into two. When you have a look at the result of my test, it will put this top part as Article 1 and it will put all that section as article 2. So that's just basically how that will lay out when you put those tokens in it within your layout. So if we have a look at just the the basics of the template is we're going we need to design a layout to use. So a layout element can be either a div layer, div layers, uh, which you'll see an example of in the default template. But in, in this case, I'm going to just use a table. So it, it's up to you whether you choose to use a table is a little bit simpler. But if you've got uh, some more advanced HTML skills, you could most certainly use div layers. In this case, I'm going to use a table. Now, just one thing to note if you're using tables, uh, I've found that it's best to use an exact width measurement in pixels because the percentage option doesn't seem to lay out very well within the Google Sites. So in this case I've used 800 pixels wide um, and you can see that on the right hand side here that I've placed the image here in one in the left hand row. I've put the article, the first article token on the right hand side of that so I'll have the image with the article to the right. Then below that I've got another row with the article 2 which is the second part which is this part which we'll show there and next I've got YouTube on another row which is the YouTube video followed by the HTML which will be if we step through the software the content from this here is the HTML which is in that one then we've got the map on another row which is the Google map 
and finally the home HTML, the home URL, sorry. Um, so then if I bring up the actual site that resulted from this, you can see that it's got the image on the left and the first part of that article, the article one, below that is the article two then below that's got on one line the YouTube video followed by the HTML on another line then the map and finally the home link so that is pretty straightforward what you need to do just use either a div layers to, to design a container layout for how you want the content to display using these tokens which we'll put in a list below this video and once you've got that you just save your layout as a text file in a folder by itself and call it whatever name you want to identify that template so just call it my template.txt for the file and if it's a template to lay out say for a dentist you can name the folder dentist template for example so that's pretty much a rundown of how to do your layouts in html uh, this is not meant to be a html training course if you don't know html at all and you, you aren't familiar with any HTML at all, as I said, you you can most certainly just leave the, t the uh, template field back here on, just leave that blank and the software will use the default template. Okay, that's about it.